Secretary, do you still have confidence reopen? in Secretary Mnuchin? Yes, I do. Very talented guy, very smart person. What about the Fed chair? Well, we'll see. Uh, they're raising interest rates too fast. That's my opinion. But uh, I certainly have confidence. But I think it'll straighten. They're raising interest rates too fast because they think the economy is so good. But uh, I think that uh, they will get it pretty soon. I really do. I mean, the fact is that the economy is doing so well that they raised interest rates. And that's as a form of safety, in a way. President Obama didn't do much of that. Much easier to run when you have no interest rate. He had a very low interest rate. We have a normalized interest rate. A normalized interest rate means a lot. You know, it's good for a lot of people. They uh, have money in the bank. They get interest on their money. For many years, nobody got interest on their money. So, but I have great confidence in them. I have great confidence in our companies. We have companies the greatest in the world, and they're doing really well. They have record kinds of numbers. So I think it's a tremendous opportunity to buy. Uh, really a, a great opportunity to buy. Uh, I can't tell you when the government's going to be open. I can tell you it's not going to be open until we have a wall, a fence, whatever they'd like to call it. I'll call it whatever they want. But it's all the same thing. It's a barrier from people pouring into our company, into our country from drugs. It's a barrier from drugs. It's a barrier. You know, there's a problem in this world today. It's called human trafficking. Human trafficking is one of the hard-to-believe problems. And we're not going to let that take place. We're not going to — we are working so hard to catch these traffickers. They're bad people. We can't do it without a barrier. We can't do it without a wall. So you have drugs. You have human trafficking. You have illegal people coming into our country. We can't do that. We don't know who they are. In the caravan, 618 people were very bad, in some cases, criminals. Wanted for very bad. You saw the one man, he said he was wanted for murder. I don't want them in the country. The only way you're going to do it is to have a physical barrier, meaning a wall. And if you don't have that, then we're just not opening. Yesterday, I gave out 115 miles worth of wall, 115 miles in Texas. And it's going to be built, hopefully, rapidly. I'm going there at the end of January for the start of construction. That's a big stretch, because we're talking about 500 to 550 miles total. It's a 2,000-mile border, but much of it has mountains and region where you can't get across. So we're looking at between 500 and 550. So we gave out 115 yesterday, and we gave it out at a great price. So we're going to have great wall there, and we have other sections to give out. One other thing people don't understand or know or whatever, but they might as well, is because they're not really tall. Uh, we've renovated massive amounts of very good wall, wall that was good but was in bad shape. And so you don't have to replace it, but you have to renovate it. And we've renovated a massive amount of wall. And in addition to that, and I think very, very importantly, uh, we've built a lot of new wall. So it's all being built. Uh, uh, the, the new piece, the new section is very, very exciting, what's going on there. And you'll see it. Because in January, I'm going there. We're almost having a groundbreaking. It's such a big section. It's probably the biggest, sec biggest section we'll get out. So while we're fighting over funding, we're also building. And it's my hope to have this done completed, all 500 to 550 miles, uh, to have it either renovated or brand new by election time. Okay. Uh, different people. Different people. Highly bid. Yeah. Well, you have to understand that's complicated because we're getting $25 billion. It's already approved. But that's for everything. That's for Homeland Security. That includes, as we say, the bells and whistles. We have a lot of drones, a lot of everything in there. Plus, we have some wall money in there. But we want the wall money to be increased because I want to finish it. But what people have to understand, it has been strongly started. A lot of areas, if you look at San Diego, it's now almost complete. And interestingly, it's California, which has been difficult to deal with because of the, the governor. Very, very difficult to deal with. But the people of San Diego came, and they wanted the wall built. In fact, I was going to build it last, but then I determined, let's build it. They really wanted it built. 
Because if I built it last, it'd all be screaming for a wall. And you don't hear that. But the wall is beautiful. The job they've done is fantastic. So San Diego is uh, largely built. It'll be completed very shortly. But they came to us, the people, and they were asking. They needed border protection. People, people were walking through Mexico right into San Diego, right over people's front lawns by the hundreds and by the thousands. And they came to us. They asked for a wall. The only thing that's going to stop that a drone isn't going to stop it. High technology is not going to stop it. The only thing that stops it's a wall. And when the Democrats talk about a wall, doesn't mean anything. Well, in Israel, they had a big problem. They put up a wall. 99.99 percent of the people were stopped from coming in. And we'll have the exact same thing. Now, we have a long, long border, but we'll have the exact same thing. Now, there may be the case of an Olympic champion who can get over the wall. But for the most part, it's uh, — you're, you're not able to do it. Very high. It's going to be 30 feet. Much of it is 30 feet high. Some of it's lower. But in some areas, we have it as high as 30 feet. That's high. That's like a three-story building. So we're making great progress on renovation, on fixing, and we're making great progress on building new wall. And uh, most excitingly, we gave out our largest section yesterday. And that work is starting uh, next week. And we'll have it completed fairly quickly. What's your message to federal workers served with the impact by the shutdown? Some might have been not okay or not. Well, I think uh, they understand what's happening. They want border security. The people of this country want border security. You know, it's not a question of uh, me. I'd, I'd rather not be doing shutdowns. I've been at the White House, and I love the White House, but uh, I wasn't able to be with my family. I thought it would be wrong for me to be with my family. My family's in Florida, Palm Beach, and I just didn't want to go down and be there when other people are hurting. But it's going to all work out. But many of those workers have said to me and communicated, stay out until you get the funding for the wall. These federal workers want the wall. The only one that doesn't want the wall are the Democrats, because they don't mind open borders. But open borders mean massive amounts of crime. I mean, the Democrats don't want it because they don't want open borders. And yet, every one of those Democrats approved the wall, or a fence, or very, very substantial barriers. Every single one. I don't think there's one, but let's assume — let's use the word almost everyone — approved a wall, or a fence, or exactly what we're talking about, as little as three years ago. But over the years, every one of them, the only time they went against it, the only time they went against it, there was only one time when Donald Trump said, we want to build the wall. As soon as I said, I want to build the wall, they were all against it. It's like — take another example. Take Comey. Everybody hated Comey. They thought he did a horrible job. The Democrats hated him. They were calling for his resignation. They were calling for his firing, including Schumer including Nancy Pelosi, until I fired him. And once I fired him, everybody said, oh, why did you fire him? Why did you fire him? Take a look at some of these people. This is what we're doing now. Take a look at some of these people. Literally, the day before I fired him, they were saying he should be fired. As soon as I fired him, they said, oh, what did you fire him for? That was a terrible thing to do. It's a disgrace what's happening in our country. But other than that, I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Can Thank you. Have a Thank you. I'll meet with them, sure. I'll always meet with them. And hopefully, we're making progress on the funding of the wall or barrier, whatever you want to call it. So, what happens in January if, when uh, Democrats take the House, they say they're going to pass the bill? Well, then it's probably presidential harassment, and uh, we know how to handle that. I think I handle that better than anybody. And there's been no collusion. After two years, no collusion. There has been collusion, but it's been by the Democrats. But there's been no collusion. And you're talking about uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars of wasted money. There's been absolutely no collusion. But there has been a lot of collusion by the Democrats with Russia and with a lot of other people that maybe they shouldn't have been dealing with, including very dishonest people. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Send them some of those pictures.
Make sure, make sure she gets you some pictures.